hello viewers assalamu alaikum today in this video i'm going to show you how you can update multiple rows using just a text field and a submit button you can update multiple rows let me give you an example like in this row i want to in this inter interactive grid i want to update like this four columns four rows like i want to update this unit price so let me set to update and i also update i also want to update the uom So let me give an example. If you click on submit, you can see it's updated. If I click on save, it also updated on the database. So it's a useful feature for updating multiple rows. And we have to use JavaScript for this action. So I will show you how you can update multiple rows using such, such a simple JavaScript. Okay, let's get started. I have already prepared an interactive grid for the process. If you don't have, you must need an interactive grid, but make sure it's a editable. So for that, you have to go to attribute section of the interactive grid and you have to click, uh, make it editable. Okay. So let me click save and run. Okay. Now let's start the process. Now I want to update the unit price as you are using submit button. Okay. So let me create a region first. I'm giving it name as filter. Now it, I need a page item. So I'm I will update unit price using this page item. So I'm giving name it unit price. Okay. And I also need a submit button for updating. So let me create a button and give it name as submit. Okay, let click save and run. Okay, our column, uh, our text field and submit button is ready. Now we need to use the JavaScript for the process. So for that, you have to create a, a dynamic action on the submit button. So I'm creating a dynamic action and go to true action. And you have to set the true action to executive JavaScript tool. So I have the JavaScript code. I will provide the JavaScript code on description. It's a simple JavaScript. You can see I will provide the script on description. So just copy it and paste it here. Okay. So you need to make some changes in the code. For first of all, you need static ID of interactive grid. Second, you need the text field column name. Third, you need the column name you want to update. So first of all, I already have set it a static ID for the interactive grid you can see from advance you can see from advance you can use you can set static ID in here so I have set a static ID name per okay so then let me set it okay I have set the static ID of interactive grid then I need this text field column name you have to place the text field column name in here Okay, now I need the column name I want to update. So I want to update the unit price. Okay, so uh, the column is this unit price. I need to copy this name and I need to place it here. Okay, now let me check it is working or not. Let's click save and run. Okay, now uh, let's try to update this four rows. Unit, unit price is okay you can see it's updating multiple rows okay let let me click on save yeah now click on refresh you can see it's updated on database also so as for the uom and item name you need you need three more text field columns so for that let me create another item name uom and also another item name item name okay okay now i need to make some changes on the code because my item like there is two more items have been added so for that go to the javascript code and you need to make some changes like you have to copy this and is it again for as many if there is like if you have multiple item you need multiple rows like multiple values so i have three text field columns so i am putting this three so i need to replace this name as like i have 
P15 UOM. So I am placing it there. As for the item name also. Okay. Now you need to also copy this code and place it more time because you have multiple column to update. So let me change them also. Okay, the UOM column name is UOM. Let me place it there. And the item name column is just item name. So let me place it also there. So now there is an important thing you need to change. Make sure you have changed. You can see there is new value one, one. There is also you need to change it to two and three as your item. Like you need to make you you must need to change it or else it will it won't work. Okay, it's set to two now. It's I will set this to three. Okay, all is done. Oh, there is left two and three. Okay, now click save and now, now check our process working or not. Okay, now I want to update these four rows. U O M. If let me click and submit, you can see it's update. I also change. I also want to change the in name. It's changed. I want. I also want to change the unit price. You can see all are updating. If you click on save, it's it will update on database. So if you want, you can also design this filter as you want. Like, like you can design it as your requirement. I want to make it small. You can see. Okay, let's make the columns one four. You can see it's the box have been small. And I can also design something else by clicking set the template to optional only. You can see it's it's like looking good. So by using that DAVASCAP, you can make changes. So let me try again. Okay, let me set the unit price to this UOM to in in active. And item name to as you want. I'm setting iPhone, so you can see all are updated. Yeah, let please refresh. You can see the rows have been updated. So, guys, I hope this video will help you in the future. So, Allah is Tata. See you in the next video.